Be careful not to choke on your aspirations, director. Hey everybody, Darth Aeson here, coming at you with another Star Wars action figure review. And this time I'm going to be introducing you to the 40th anniversary Darth Vader action figure which is supposed to be resembling the old school ones that came out back in uh, 79, I believe, the old Kenner figures. Just a more updated version of it. Um, so let's get a closer look at the box and the packaging, and we'll get a closer look at the accessories and the figure. Now here you see the packaging. This is the front of the box. You get the lineup of the uh, anniversary figures right there. And I believe they're gonna be coming out like every few months or month or so I'm not hundred percent but yeah some cool artwork on the front got some X wings got a Tuscan Raider C3PO Imperial officer uh, Han Han whatever you want to call it uh, Chewie Leia Luke R2D2 Vader Stormtrooper Jawa and Obi-Wan Kenobi got some X wings there's a picture of the display stand that comes with it. The 40th anniversary seal. Yeah, it's a cool box. I actually had that figure, and I had R2-D2. It was actually the earliest action figures I've ever owned. And on the back of the box, you get a display of what they all look like, all together. Then the picture of the Vader that comes with it. Here's all the lineups from the Wave. Want to read it? There's a little read up. Can pause it. There's some more. Yeah, that's really about it. And some warnings. Don't eat toys. It could be bad for you. Let's close look at the accessories and we'll get to the figure. All right, now Vader comes with two accessories. One is his lightsaber. It's got some really nice detail. If you can focus in on it, get a little closer. Yeah, he's got a little hook, you can hook it onto his belt, and the blade is detachable. Pops in and out, just like it does on the rest of the Black Series figures. And if you want to compare it to another Sith Saber, actually the only other Dark Sider Saber I have, Kylo Ren's. And then for his other accessory, he also comes with, here is the display stand. This is the second accessory. Um, as you can see, it, Got the peg holes on the bottom to where you can put it all, all the other figures from the wave. Or you can put your other Black Series figures. Excuse me. The other Black Series figures will fit on it, which is actually what I have on it. And you got the Star Wars logo on the front. And you got a epic battle from the from uh, Battle of Yavin. You got the Death Star. You got some X Wings. You got a TIE Fighter, and on the back side, same artwork from the classic figures from the line from back in the late 70s. So it's actually double-sided. You can use either one. I kind of like using the X-Wing side because I'm just going to primarily keep this with Dark Side and Imperial Officers. Alright, now here we are. Let's get down to Darth Vader. Now, this is modeled after the New Hope Darth Vader, or the New Hope suit, I should say. Um... Actually, this is my only Vader figure, so I am going to hold this as my essential Vader, which is how I, a lot of us got introduced to Vader. Um, the head sculpt, I really like that sculpt, if it, you get in on it pretty good there. It's a really nice head sculpt. I like the brown in the eyes. If I could zoom in, probably can't tell with my lighting, but... When you from a ways, it actually looks like it's clear, like see through, but brown on the inside. But it actually is just brown paint, so I really like the way it's painted. The tusks don't have any silver on the edge, and I don't think there's this look like there's much silver on the nose piece there on the vents. But that's the second nitpick, and it's not you know what, I'm not even going to notice it when it's on the shelf. Shoulder pads are really cool, the chest plate, all the little buttons are nicely molded, cod piece is nice. Got all these little buttons over here. If you like the molding on the gloves. Like, I, I, hands down, I think they Hasbro spent some time on this. I wish they spent this much time on some of their other figures. But, you know, no matter. It's still a good figure. Got his uh, two-figure force choke. 
As you can see, he's got the uh, piping are ribbed all the way down the pants. Boots are really nice. Another flip the cape. Vader butt. This is more soft goods. The belt. Helmet looks a little big, but you know what? I haven't seen a small Vader helmet, period. Even though my cosplay helmets aren't that small. They're, I have to wear a Balakava or a beanie underneath it to fit. But, um, yeah, and in New Hope, he did have a big head. But, yeah, no, it's really cool. I like this figure a lot. Now, as for, blah, 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 for articulation, his arms do go out a fair amount. He is wide-chested, so they, you know, they don't really go very far inward. They do go in that much. He does have double-jointed elbows. You can rotate the shoulder. The shoulders all the way around. His uh, lightsaber hand goes up, down, and spins. Nothing at the wrist. And he also has four stroke hands. It's the same, same thing. Goes up, down, and spins around. He does have a little bit of ab articulation. He can't really go up and down any. But he can swivel a little bit, but due to the under cape or the skirt or whatever, it doesn't twist very well, but it gets enough for some neat poses. He has double jointed knees, which do move really well, but I just think that gap edge is a little weird there. But, but I'm not going to bend his knees that far anyway. He does have boot or, or ankle articulation, it goes up down and he has ankle pivots now here you have director Krennic Vader and the Death Trooper and as you see Vader is standing taller than both of them now here's Darth Vader with chip off the little block himself Kylo Ren and as you can see he's about a little, over, a little taller than Kylo Ren which David Prowse, I think, was over almost 6'11". Now you can see Vader is about 6.5". Yeah, over 6.5 inches tall. So yeah, it's actually a really good figure. I really like it. Posability is really great. Um, I don't have one gripe because now I actually have a Vader figure and I am not going to bitch about it. Now as you see here, here is the stand. And I got my Death Troopers on there, Dr. Krennic, Vader, and Kylo Ren. And there's actually more spots to where you can put figures in the front, too. But I'm saving this to the end just for, like, my Dark Side and Imperial figures. Um, actually, I can put some First Order ones in front. Anywho, uh, feel free to comment, subscribe, all that good stuff in the bottom below. Um, if you haven't, please hit the notification bell and be part of the Notification Squad. Um, if there's anything you want to add about any Vader knowledge or anything, let's chat. So anyway, folks, have a good day, and may the Force be with you, always.